I have an Enphase microinverter that went bad and I'm swapping it out on this install. So Enphase is the most popular brand of microinverters and they make a really good solar panel microinverter. These inverters do have a 25 year warranty, but the new inverters that they make aren't necessarily compatible with the old ones and the old system. For instance, only have two hots and they don't have a neutral or ground wire. The old microinverters have the line one, line two, neutral and ground, the four wires, and it uses slightly different technology, has a different amperage output, and it's really not compatible. When you have a failed microinverter, you need to call into Enphase. Enphase is going to issue you a replacement inverter after they verified that that inverter is broken and eligible for a warranty and when you get shipped that new one you need to replace it swapping out this micro inverter all i really needed to do was turn off the system set up my ladder get up on the roof verify that the system's not on there's no voltage remove the panel where the, the inverter was and then i disconnect it from the trunk cable disconnect it from the solar panel disconnect it from the rail and then reinstall the new inverter and just plug everything back in you can reinstall install um, the solar panel everything and then you need to turn back on the envoy flip all the breakers make sure it has power after that you need to call into tech support and reprovision the microinverter essentially on the back end they're going to take the serial number you'll need the serial number of the old microinverter and then the serial number of the new microinverter and they're going to do all of their back end stuff to make sure that it's connected to the system working communicating um, and all of that so on the IQ version of the uh, microinverter, it has this um, connection, which this is um, some trunk cable and it just slides in like that and clicks into place. And that's how the microinverters are connected to each other. And then you can see there's these little prongs right here. And if you just pop those out, screwdriver, you can disconnect the microinverter uh, from the trunk cable. And then on the older M series, uh, microinverters. The connection is a lot bigger and they have little prongs on it. It's a lot harder to get off. Enphase makes an actual disconnect tool you can buy on their website. I usually just fry a screwdriver into the trunk cable until I can um, get it to disconnect off of um, these connection points and then pull this out. But this is pretty hard to disconnect, to be honest, without the disconnect tool. Never want to work on a solar panel system when it's producing power or turned on or anything. In this case, for microinverters with Enphase, generally you'll have a combiner box where it has all the different breakers located in it. You'll generally also have a disconnect. And then sometimes you have breakers that back feed on say this 20 amp right here and then the main panel. So before you work on a microinverter system, you need to turn flip all those breakers all the disconnects all the breakers and then verify that the system is off um, before you disconnect touch anything disconnect the panel or anything so make sure to be safe and make sure that you're not working on live wires 